I'm gonna be sending you, I'm gonna be putting in the description a message, okay? A hidden message. <laughs> I I'm sorry that was too loud, okay? I, 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 I just figured out new intros, okay? Anyways, I'm back, I'm not dead, look at that! I'm, uh, is, is it amazing that I'm still alive, you know, making videos? Okay, I'm sorry, it's been a while I didn't do a video on this channel. So yeah, I'm just toying around with different stuff, and today I'm going to show you some processing. And today, I created a Enigma machine. Or more, you know, a simplified version of an Enigma machine, I'm, I'm not that crazy, okay? <laughs> but this is basically a machine that is gonna encrypt your message and decrypt it, but only if you have the right encryption key. So, you know, that's that's a funny thing. So let's put an encryption tree, uh, key of, oh my god, this is so bad. Okay, no, don't worry about that, okay? We are gonna call our encryption key parameter for now, okay? Let's put a parameter of 4, and let's say, hello. Hello, just hello, okay? And we encrypt it. Now it's gonna be Z, J, C, Z, M, okay? So now if we do Z, J, C, Z, M, C, J, Z, C, Z, M, and we do a parameter, a parameter of 1 and we decrypt it, nothing happens. But if we do Z, G, oh my gosh, I forgot it. Okay, I remembered it, luckily. <laughs> now if we go with a parameter of 4, uh, 5, what we put before when we encrypted it and we decrypt it, that is still gonna, not gonna work. Oh yeah, it was 4, oh my gosh. See, 4, decrypted. Hello, easy. So how does this work? This is extremely simple. It seems hard, but it's actually pretty simple to make. So basically what I do is I change the position of each letter. So let's, uh, let's, let's do a simpler example, okay? What if we say... A, B, C, okay? But we don't want anyone to know that we said this, because this is a really confidential message that nobody must know, okay? So, we need to change the order of the letters. The simplest thing you could do is to actually, g give me a sec, let me, okay, is to actually change the letters uh, one at a time, so, you know, just one turn. So the A becomes B, the B becomes C, and the C becomes D. Naturally, anyone that know, knows this pattern for him, it's gonna be really simple to go back to the original pattern, that is A, B, C. So like, if we were to say hello, it would have been something like this, because as you can see, H, what comes after the H is a I, what comes after the E is a F, and so on. Now you can see a lot of flows about this mechanism. The problem is, someone can just try a lot of combination and shifts, because there can only be like 25 shifts, because there are 25 letters of the alphabet, and figure out the meaning of the actual message. And also, as you can see here, we have a double letter, and it becomes a double letter here too. We don't want that, because that is obvious. Then the, pl the person knows that this word has two double letters, you know, at the end. So we don't want the letters to be unique, and stuff like that, and this method is like so bad. But this is not what we use here. Here we use something that is actually a little bit harder, but, but it's not that hard to understand. Basically what we do is we create a random number, or better yet, a better s a random series of numbers, okay? But we create those series using a seed. Meaning that if the seed is like 3, no matter how many times we generate the random numbers, the sequence is gonna always be the same. And that seed is the parameter that's right here. So that is how it works. So basically, uh, every time we set this parameter to something, it will generate a random sequence of number that is always the same, and that random sequence is gonna be how many times the letter must be, you know, pushed one spot, if I make sense. But that thing is for each letter, so it's gonna be a different spot for each letter. So an example for the parameter uh, 1, we're gonna restart it, uh, if we say hi and we encrypt it, it's gonna be G double -woo. And basically, it means that the age went all the way to G, and the uh, and the high, uh, the I went like all the way down the you know the 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 end of the alphabet. So you know this is pretty crazy because the letters don't have the same spacing, and also a letter can be you know uh, a letter can be the same sp symbol more times. I'm going to show you what uh, how this works, you know, coding wise, so you're gonna understand better. And the same thing is for decrypting, it's just the opposite. Instead of shifting forward, it's gonna shift backwards. So it's basically gonna go on the original position. But only if we do the right parameter. Because if we don't, the message is not gonna make sense. So basically, this is done for people that actually, you know, for a message to be public. So, an example, this message is gonna be public. This is gonna be the public message. And then, only the people that can decrypt it are gonna know that the parameter to use is one. 
So yeah, naturally don't use really low parameters, go really high, <laughs> because you know, if you use like one, two, three, they're gonna, you know, people are gonna know why, you know, th those are the simplest parameters. You can just, you know, put like 44 and then say hi, and it's gonna be like this random combination of letters. And you know, you can try how many parameters you want, but if you don't get the right one, it's not gonna work. So we can say uh, this, and we have to go all the way up to 44, I think it was 44, to translate it high. So this is how it works. First of all, we need to generate a random series of numbers using a seed. Now, I know I could have used the random function that is built in its pro in processing, but I actually didn't want to cheat. I didn't want, uh, I wanted to create all by myself, uh, not use any you know, external functions whatsoever. Okay, but the first thing we do is this. We have some variables, okay, we have the seed variable that by the way is just a parameter and gets updated every time we press that button, okay? And then we have these four uh, things. You may say, what is this? Now, I did a bigger explanation of all of the randomness in another video that is not on this channel. Probably I will do one on this channel, but you know, you can watch it. You know, it's, it's another video, but it's about a game. It's about Minecraft and how to create random numbers in Minecraft. But it's the same exact concept. I'm going to go through it really quickly right now. So basically, what is this? This is a multiplier, okay? It's just a variable uh, that you can, uh, you know, that has a really big number to multiply it. And, you know, these are just variables right now. I'm gonna show you the code that actually makes it work. So once you try to encrypt, this is what it's gonna do. The seed is gonna be equal, so the seed, the parameter that you put, is gonna be equal to the multiplier, so this, uh, to the seed, times the multiplier. So, you know, it's gonna be a really big number. But now, since we don't want this number to be so big, we are gonna modulo, uh, modulo it to this third number. So, modulo meaning, basically means take the reminder of the division between uh, the first number and the second number. So basically you're gonna take the, the, the reminder of the division between this and this. And the reminder cannot be bigger than the divisor. So this means we are basically limiting this number. We are saying this number cannot be bigger than random tree. That is this. So we are doing this just not just so the number doesn't get increasingly big. So you may say, what is this uh, ABS? That is basically a way to say if the number is negative, make it possible, uh, make it make it positive, please, because we don't want negative ma numbers messing everything up. And then we basically the, the, our seed became this, and then our shift that is actually the output of the random number uh, is gonna become the seed with another modulo to the random four. So if you're wondering what the random four uh, is, it's actually 25 because it's the number of letters. So we're basically saying, now that we did all of this big number that is going to be random, we just put it uh, from 1 to 25. So it's plus 1 because it was supposed to be from 0 to 24, but now we're just putting it from 1 to 25. So we know already how many letters we should shift that letter. So in fact, that is why it's called the shift. So basically, this is going to give us a number between 1 and 25 that is random, but it depends on the seed. So if the seed is 1, I don't know what number it's gonna give. Uh, it's probably gonna give... I, I don't know, we, we saw before the age becomes became a G, so you can just, you know, measure how much spacing is between those two letters, and you're gonna know the number that you're gonna get for the parameter 1. So the parameter 1 is gonna always give us that number. And the parameter, the parameter 2 is gonna always give us uh, another number. But naturally, we're not talking about only one number, we're talking about a sequence, because we don't need to translate only one letter, we need to translate the entire word, and each letter is a different number. So yeah, this is crazy, but this is basically the mechanism that makes everything work. So how do I actually uh, do this little shift? This is pretty easy. This is the message, okay? So I, I transformed the message into a char, and basically what I do is the message equals the char uh, equals the message plus the shift. Now, uh, the chars can be treated as letters, but they, are, they can be treated as numbers, because as you know, each char, each char is actually a number that represents the letter. So basically, if we do the number plus the shift, they are already in order, so that was great. I was like, how can I find a method uh, to, you know, shift numbers, uh, shift letters around? You know, I don't need to find a, a method, because they are already in order. Uh, a funny story. Uh, if we go right here, and we do like, we create a char that is an A, okay, so we do this, boom, we need to name it, we can name it A, <laughs> and then we just, oh my gosh, oh, I forgot the equal, oh my gosh, that's so embarrassing when I do that, okay, so we create a char, okay, and then we just print it, so if we do print A, oh yeah, oh my god, I'm stupid, I'm just putting code, <laughs> nowhere, we have to put it in the setup so it works, so as you can see now, it's gonna print 
uh, our char and it's gonna give us 97 because actually the value of an a is 97 so this was too easy so if we do a plus one <laughs> it's gonna be 98 yeah so that's so easy because you know if we do a plus shift that is actually a random number it's gonna give us you know a, a, an encrypted message and this is in this is put in a loop okay let's go here okay this is put in a loop that always repeats until you know uh, the message is over so until the the length of the message where is it i cannot find it here right here message dot length so this is gonna happen every single time and you know it's gonna generate a different number every single time with the new seed that it gets but you know the starting seed is always the parameter so you know you, you can generate the same numbers i already said that you can generate the same numbers with the same parameter now there is a problem though what if the letter is at z okay and it shifts it over uh, of 25 for example then it's gonna go through y you know we have to make it so when it reaches z he has to go back to a and not just go to random symbols because nobody wants that i mean that would have been a more secure way of doing it but you know it's gonna be a pain to type weird symbols that you don't know about so that is why we need to do a detect if the match message is bigger than 122 that by the way is just a z and if it is, we just have to, you know, slow it down a little bit. We just, we just have to say, dude, go back 26 le letters before, so, you know, you can go back forward. So it's like it's looping around. So if it goes up to Z and goes one for forward, it goes back to A. So, you know, it it's just a loop. Instead of being just a line, it, the, the letters become in a loop. So after Z, there is the A, then B, C, D, and so on and so forth. Now, all of this stuff is just for the message because I'm bad, okay? So don't worry about that. But after that, it's gonna basically tell you uh, the encrypted message. What's the encrypted message? Because it's gonna say message string, the string. And this is gonna transform our message into a, scr uh, a string. <laughs> And then uh, it's gonna basically reset everything. So because I want everything to be reset, and this is it. So you may say this is a, the encryption, and but what does the decryption do? Well, it does the exact same thing, except instead of doing plus shift, it does minus shift. And here, instead of detecting for being over the Z, it detects for being, you know, uh, before the A, and then it, it sets you 26 words forward if you are, you know outside the range so it's basically the exact same thing but you know backwards because we want to decrypt and not encrypt so yeah it's the exact same thing and basically this is all of the code there is nothing else if you're wondering what this is these are just the buttons it's nothing interesting it's just the text if my mouse is inside the area of the button and if it is and also if my mouse is pressed then it's gonna do a lot of stupid stuff and it's gonna make the system work so basically this is how it is we want to look more on this code that is not commented because I'm lazy. <laughs> you can do it on GitHub, it's gonna be public there somewhere, and you, you can type with your, you know, keyboard. And th this was really simple to make, actually, the typing. Uh, I don't know where is it. Uh, I, 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 okay, wait, I think it's in draw here. Yeah, here, in key pressed. So when I press the key, it, it makes the text plus the key. So basically, the, the text, the string, becomes the string itself plus the key. So yeah, that, that, that's cool. And then yeah, it's gonna fill everything back to black. So the strings are not gonna overlap. So yeah, that, that's how it works. Pretty simple. And yeah, I have nothing else to say. Except, I have a challenge for you guys. I'm gonna be sending you, I'm gonna be putting in the description a message, okay? A hidden message. And the parameter is gonna be a riddle. I'm gonna tell you a number riddle. And you have to, you know, do that riddle or whatever. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing with this video, okay? But to know the parameter, you, ha you have to solve a riddle, and once you do that, you're gonna be able to unravel the, 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 the code, the, the, I, I don't even know, okay, you know, I'm gonna do that, it's, something is gonna be in the description, just check it out. But yeah, this was it for today's video, hope you really enjoyed it, if you want to see more content on this channel, then you should surely leave a like on this video, and yeah, that was it, hope you really enjoyed, and I'm gonna be seeing you guys in the next episode, bye! Encrypt. <laughs>